What's up YouTube, this is Hill Phantom. I am doing a quick roundup and review of all the cases that I've accumulated over the years and I'm picking the top three and telling you why those are my favorite cases. So you can see here throughout the years and these are just very few of the cases I've had, anything from plastic and cheap and they just kind of clamshell together to wood which is really neat. I think this has a really cool appeal. The rest are just these acrylic stacks, which I really liked a lot, uh, but you'll notice here, differences, this has a fan on it. So this was the first case I got that had a fan and I could plug it up to the GPIO and it would actually suck out air and make it cooler. I also have passive cooling on here. You'll notice that these are just blocks on thermal blocks on top of uh, the CPU and the microchips. Uh, here, you will see the same kind of deal. I like this one because it's very thin. Again, these are just cheap ones off of Amazon and they're just acrylic and cut out CNC machines. This also comes with some aluminum heat sinks as well. It's just gonna pull some of that heat out. Same concept here, just a little bit older. So then you get into some of these other ones where these are just more specialty cases. So you can see this one has a little TFT screen on it. So you can actually use this to do uh, little things. I think I was messing around with some small like 8-bit games on this as well. This one was really cool and I still use this. It's called Smart Pie. I don't know if it's in production anymore, but this is just built off of kind of the Lego brick system. I was using this when I set up, it was called Private Eye. I can't remember, but it's just a home monitoring system and this worked really well. It's neat because it has a GoPro adapter. So this was very close to being in my top three, but I do not know if they make this anymore, uh, but really clever if you want to use a Raspberry Pi as a security system. So with that, let's move on to the other ones. All right, here are my favorite cases. So I'll just walk through uh, why I selected these, especially for the latest edition of the Raspberry Pi, because you wanna overclock or usually wanna overclock the Raspberry Pi for most applications, or at least I find myself wanting to. But the amount that I overclock them is just based off of whatever I'm gonna do. So I may not have to overclock, let's say this one, if it's just gonna be you know, a retro gamer, as much as I might overclock something like this, if I'm really pushing the limits, trying to get the most out of the board itself. So there's two different schools of thought. There is a passive base cooling, with basically this is just a case that pulls away all the thermal heat. It's one big heat sink. And you have something like this, which you can see here, it's got a huge fan on top. It's a really powerful fan uh, that's gonna pull the air away. This one is the same deal. It has an internal fan as well. Uh, also has some thermal paste on there. So kind of uh, a little bit of a heat sink, but certainly not as much as this, or even as much as some of the older ones had the aluminum on there. You know, aluminum with thermal paste is gonna be better than just like a thermal paste. Now this doesn't necessarily have a thermal paste. There are sheets that come on and you stick it on to where your um, processors are gonna be and your microchips. So these are my three. Uh, and we went over a little bit about each one, uh, but I'll go into detail as to why I like them and why I picked them for the applications I have. So the one I really like a lot and I use it in a lot of applications, it comes in all different colors, is this from Pi Ramoni. Now Pi Ramoni just made this as a billet, kind of uh, two pieces of aluminum and it just acts as a heat sink and pulls away everything from the processors and any heat that it may generate, it actually sucks out into the metal. I really like this, it's built really well. They're a company out of UK. Most of my applications, if I'm not gonna overclock to the extreme, uh, this is what I prefer. It's just a good footprint, works really well. Uh, temperatures are kept pretty in check as long as you're not going crazy on the overclocking. Now this case here is awesome for the other side of that and that is extreme overclocking. So this is the ice tower. I like this a lot as well because of the fan. However, I'm not a big fan anymore of this acrylic. The acrylic tends to crack a little bit. It just seems to be a little bit fragile for my liking. It's also got a pretty big footprint as you can see. So this big footprint for me, I don't know, it's too much. It's kind of cool, it lights up. It's a neat thing to have on your desktop. But along came another case which we'll talk about here in a minute. But I think that this one in particular is probably best for extreme overclocking conditions. That's that one. Now lastly, this is the Argon M2. A really, really great case. I can't say enough about it. Uh, I use this a lot for like media applications, for desktop applications. It's really good for sitting next to your TV. So again, three different kind of classes of cases for three different scenarios. One of the reasons I like this is because I'll take this apart. It has a built-in daughter board 
and that daughter board plugs in and basically reorients your I.O. ports. So you brings your I.O. ports out here. You can see you have a 3.5, your power, and then most importantly, it gives you full size HDMI. So that's really nice. The other thing that I like is that right here you can see I've got a M2 uh, solid state 120 gig drive in this case and this is designed so that I can use this with the Raspberry Pi. So really it's one of if not the only case that you can use uh, solid state or just I mean you can use solid state with other things but it's designed to have it internal. Now it uses a 3.0 USB and a dongle here or connector or bridge if you will that's going to plug into your Raspberry Pi's 3.0 port. Downfall, it does take up a 3.0 port. However, uh, you know, the, the way that they've done this daughter board, I don't have to worry about not having uh, an adapter on hand if I need it. These are full sized. I like the daughter board. Um, I like the fact that they were able to put the hard drive internal and really create a nice really nice sturdy case now lastly the really cool thing is it has an ir sensor built in buy a remote from argon itself it's i think it's still sold out however i'm getting ready to program my logitech to use so this is going to be sitting next to my desktop or sitting next to my tv so i can put you know cody on here i'll probably put barry boot on here is probably my next step now it does have a jumper cable here where you can move the jumper cable and all that means is that as soon as you plug in if you move this over to two three as soon as you plug in it's going to come on if it stays on one two it's going to wait for the power button now the power button is really cool when you do have it set as one two instead of two three so when you plug it in you do have to push the power you push the power power is on if you push the power and hold it for three seconds there's a script in here that's going to uh, that argon provides and there's a couple scripts that argon provides that you'll need to install but you hold this for three seconds and basically what will happen is it will do a software shutdown. You hold it for greater than three seconds, hard shutdown. So no software shutdown, just like if you pulled the plug from it. So just kind of a cool thing. The other thing that it has is a built-in fan, but there's a fan on the other side of this um, that has a script and Argon provides a script for the power, also provides a script for fan management. And basically what that means is you can set thresholds. So if you hit you know, 100 degrees Celsius, then you can have it cut on at 50%. The fan speed come on at 50% uh, at that temperature. So it allows you to really set and tweak those uh, fan settings as to when it comes on and how much power it provides when it does come on. And that's just awesome for any type of overclocking deal. Now, like I said, I'll probably be putting Barry Boot on here so that I can boot Media Edition and some other things. Uh, but for right now, I think it's gonna make a great set top box next to my TV for a media center. Uh, this is magnet, so everything's built really well. This is a metal, uh, some type of metal, so it's not plastic. It feels really sturdy. It feels like a little mini computer. So this is also magnetic to cover your GPIO ports. Now, I doubt I'll be using anything for the GPIO ports unless I wanna do something silly, like you know, maybe have a flashing uh, you know, LED if I get an email or you know, someone tweets me. I don't know, but I doubt I'll use anything there. I would probably tend to use something like this that has them more exposed and easily accessible. And that, you know, if I'm using any physical computing, I don't really need to overclock that much. So this is the lineup that I suggest. Um, those are my top three. So extreme overclocking, great, love it, powerful. Uh, it does come with some scripting as well. I failed to mention that you can control it when the fan comes on. Uh, however, I think the, the case is pretty cheap. Fan is awesome. If I'm gonna do anything where I'm pushing the limits, we're talking you know, well over accepted limits of the Raspberry Pi, I'm using this case. If I don't need to overclock much, maybe just a little bit here and there, I'm gonna use this case, the Pyromoni. I use this case in general, even if I don't overclock, I just really like it. Lastly is this case, the M2 Argon, which again is just more of a kind of desktop computer looking. It also gives you the ability to include a SSD solid state M2 drive, and it just comes in a nice slick package. I love the daughter board, how it turned the IO ports, uh, and it gives me the ability to keep everything compact, and it's really, really sturdy. Now, again, this versus this, and this so here's a little hard drive you know plugging this up it's just not as compact this puts it all together so for me it takes the win hands down i really do like this argon i think it's number one for the specific application the drawback is it is a little bit big so set top desktop awesome really big built well 
anything else, I would go uh, with passive cooling, with this uh, Pi Maroni. You know, again, this has a fan, so it's, I'm gonna be able to overclock this quite a bit. I'll probably overclock this, you know, maybe 50% of the recommended threshold, and then the last one is a screamer. I'll set this thing on fire, the ice tower. So ice tower, Pi Maroni, a heat seat case, and then finally Argon M2. Great little device, I highly recommend. So that's the roundup. I appreciate you guys listening. I'm Hill Phantom. Please hit like and subscribe. Try to get to a thousand subscribers. So I'm begging, help me out. Till next time, see ya.